Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Traffic Department 2192 Episode 3 Mission 11. Right. Well, certainly a lot of chaos going on. I did start. Uh, I am noticing, however, that Velasquez is starting to become more and more like the enemy she faces. Aside from the looks, of course, uh, she has to dress up as a vulture now to stay hidden, but even so, a total disregard for everyone else. I mean, there is always the old saying about uh, those who fight monsters should look into it they themselves, not become a monster. For those who gaze into the abyss, the abyss also gazes into them. Something to that effect, at least. Uh, I admit I am not entirely up to par with most philosophers, but she does seem to be heading that direction. Heck, at this point I'm almost uh, willing to wager that she might take over the entire Vulture operation at the end of the story. Don't know that though. Uh, go all in, go in the barbarian style, take over the entire Vulture, uh, well what is it actually? Empire? Probably Empire. Anyway, that's quite enough speculation. Let's get into some actual game! Mission 11, Convergence. That title sounds like some really weak soul sci-fi movie that they're trying to pass off these days. The Code or VCI. Later. You're late, Merylith. One of your planets was in my flight path. I destroyed it. I see that decades of war in the Pentad system have indulged your sense of humor. Your sense of humor eludes me, Creel. My vessel has obtained orbit. I will join you in Voltkalor within the hour. You have until then to prepare for my arrival. I have temporarily bequeathed the city's gamma sector to you. I have the firepower to crack this moon like a nut. Why the overall chose this worthless rock as this nexus eludes me. You control the Urgus cluster. Talending. Talending. Irani belt. Color is equidistant from both. Simple geometry. Oh, shut up. Command deck in mining station 52-8-8. Our mission must proceed on schedule. Listen to me, you Silithic simulacrum. Sluts made no attempt to communicate, nor has he acknowledged our transmissions. If Creel killed Zargon, as you say, he probably trashed Slut for kicks. Reels, no fool, Jakar. I see a lot's roadkill by now. Without him, your operation is dead as Sanskrit shit. No, it is not. We have another ally in the VCI, Captain. The mission is not over yet. You amorphous asshole! Why wasn't I told? The vice director thought it was wise not to trust you with such information. There was no need to divulge the other's identity. Who is it? Tell me, Jakar, before I blast this shit right out of you. The Sidetic's name is Osiliv. Naven Osiliv. He's a skid commander. Take me to him. Mining station hangar, 25 rays. You know, Osiliv, that name sounds familiar. I might have fought him before. Way back in episode 1, I think. Hmm. Also, this received our coded transmission, Captain. He's agreed to meet you in a neutral site. The coordinates have been programmed into your onboard computer map. You're in command until I return. Do not schedule any attacks until I get back. None? But what if you don't come back? Don't get comfortable, Striker. 
I'm not leaving my son in your incapable hands, nor would I trust you with the fate of this department. You disobeyed a direct order to wear the vulture get up, and you expect my trust? Single the disp dispatcher to clear me for departure. Velasquez out. Alright, head to the location specified on your map. Well, that's... where is that? Um, I'm seeing a lot of vultures. Once a couple of stingrays. But I'll just, I'll just follow the arrow. Nothing going on at all in this neighborhood. Just a quiet patrol. Quiet drive through the countryside. And I'm going in the wrong direction. Alright. Cut that out. He almost damaged my whole plating. Well, actually, he did damage my whole plating, but that's not the point. Alright, which way to go? Still going up. Getting close now. So you're Captain Velasquez. And you're the asshole who keeps attacking my skids. Slut and I tried to convince General Creel that the Splinter Faction was responsible for the Karuvia 2 attack, but he's made it clear he wants to sections you sections to eliminate it. Despite my feelings, I am forced to perform my duty. To do otherwise would jeopardize my position. Instruct your pilots to back off! I've tried. So far, I've managed to keep the location of your hidden base a secret. The other commanders would not be so... compassionate. The last thing I need is not a compassionate synergic. You're nothing but a vulture-faced, iron-brained pile of shape-shifting corruption. General Creel does not like you very much, and I can see why. What happened to Salat? Salat's dead, and so is Zargon. Creel runs Vodkolo now. I want to get inside the Vulture Command installation. I want Creel's iron pocked corpse jettisoned into space. I cannot assist you, not until our mission is complete. Listen to me, you no speaking pacifist. I'll end your mission right here. I intend to kill that bastard, and unless you agree to help me, I'll vape you, Jakar, and every other Celestic slug I find. If you kill me, one of the other commanders will locate your hidden base and destroy it. Thanks to me, you've only encountered a fraction of the military forces at General Creel's disposal. Thanks to you, my department's been reduced to stealing medical supplies. You have Jakar and the others in your custody. As long as they remain at your base, their lives are in peril. You must transfer them to me immediately. I can protect them in ways you cannot. You couldn't protect a wad of shit in with flypaper. I'm afraid I don't under- Listen to me, Osloth. If you don't help me, I'll contact General Creel myself and tell him you're a synthetic tra traitor. To scatter your amorphous atoms from here to most muscles and kill any chance your mission has for success. You would destroy the last hope for peace in our galaxy. Only a fool would interfere. I'm not interested in peace, Commander. I think Jakar will attest to that. Well, I can give you the means to disable the negative on defense screens. That's the best I can do for now. As for the rest, I'll see what I can manage. Alright, back to base. Back to base we go. Nice quiet drive through the countryside. Alright, 
got that. Well, at least uh, Oslip was nice enough to repair my uh, ship. close yet? I think I am. I think I am. And there we go. Ooh, hole in one. Yeah. Mission successful. <laughs> Excellent target skills. Yep. Mining station hangar after the mission. I'm pretty sure it won't look like that with those hornets. Too conspicuous. Reporting with vultures again, Vel. How would you like your face strapped to a particle vaporizer? Oh, oh. Sounds like Captain Carnage is suffering from cyborg PMS. You don't even know what suffering is. Believe me, Captain. I don't want to find out. Well, it's a start, I guess. You're getting closer to her goal. Where that might be. See you all next time. Thank you.